what's up going on everybody so today is the day we have the six liter loaded up the bed is on it and we are getting ready to cut the frame there it is we got the old 7.3 hooked up so a lot of entertainment coming for you today so stay tuned it's gonna be a good one. Oh. Dude, sideways cover up where the speaker Words. All right, what's up guys? We're here at the shop. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of briefly describe, you know, how we're gonna be measuring the truck here. So, basically we're cutting 16 inches right here out of the frame. So, we're bringing this bolt hole for the bed forward up to here, somewhere. So, on a short bed and a long bed, you use eight bolts total. So we're still gonna use all of these holes on the, on the frame. We just gotta cut this section out. So if we measure from the center of that bolt hole to the center of this bolt hole, you get 39 inches. Then we go to our short bed. We go from that first bolt hole to the second bolt hole center. We got 22 and a half. And that, you know, subtract them from each other and you have 16.5 inches. So next thing we're going to do is basically just measure everything out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two inches back from this bolt hole. I'm going to make a mark, make a line across, and then I'll measure 16 inches back from that point, 16.5 inches back, and I'll make a mark there. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that, and then uh, we'll check in with you guys then. Okay, so we got the first uh, side of the frame measured up here, and basically what we did was is measured from that line to this line is 16 and a half inches, then we went three inches in, because that's going to be our notch, and measured from there 16 and a half inches all the way to there. So we're getting rid of that part, keeping this section, and that's going to come over and fill in that spot. And then on the bottom we're doing the opposite, so we're going to be keeping this part, that line's going to come down. We're going to be keeping that part. We're going to measure 16 and a half inches from there to there. And then this piece right here, this square, is going to come out. And that's going to be our notch, which is going to be about three inches. So we're going to go ahead and measure up the other side and then start cutting. All right, so we got the other side measured up. And what we did was we just took the uh, cutoff wheel and we pretty much just define the lines if the camera will focus there it goes um, so that you can get an idea of the notches so we're keeping that cutting out this section all through here and then we are cutting that out and keeping this so that is going to come over notch into that spot and then welding together so we're going to start cutting and uh, hopefully this goes smoothly
Uh oh. One down, one to go. I don't know what to say. I feel like our lines are decent. Okay. Hi, I'm uh, Jake here, helping Cody. Left lane diesels. Um, wasting my time sanding the frame down. Uh, having a great time here. See what we're doing is we're prepping the frame, getting it down the super bare metal with no undercoating. <clears throat> no rust or anything on it, so the polarization can get a perfect, perfect the weld. Uh, contact. The weld, yeah. Uh, yeah. What I could show you here <clears throat> is me using a four and a half inch, super thick, it's an eight or a quarter inch thick, uh, something. Just a disc. Uh, yeah. Grinding disc. Grinding disc. And I'll, all I'm going to do is just hit that side, get it about half an inch to an inch in, yeah. get that side half an inch to an inch in, and just follow that all the way down the grooves as you can see over there. So basically what we did was, after we made our cuts, is we measured from the cab on both sides to the rear here, and to the end of the rails right here, and by measuring that we made sure we were uh, the same length on both sides. And that's pretty much it. Now basically all we're going to do is I'm just going to tack, do a couple tack welds to hold it in place. And then uh, we will do a couple more measurements and then do a full weld. So stay tuned. up guys so it's the next morning finally got the truck back all in one piece again so <clears throat> I'm gonna do a just a quick walk around uh, show you some of the welds and whatnot and a few of the little kinks here and there so um, just hang tight and uh, I'll show you what I got all right so the first thing I want to address is the fact that the bed does have the bolts in but they are not tight they haven't been bolted down uh, the nuts aren't on the other side so it's not technically the bed is not in its final position but I got it as close as you can see that's the body line matches up pretty well we got a gap here it stays pretty even all the way down uh, one of the little kinks that we messed up you know because you're making about a million different measurements is these front bolt holes we ended up cutting those out. I had mentioned in the video that we weren't going to cut them out, but then when we did the notch, we ended up cutting those out. It's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm going to take a paint marker and just go down there and mark the hole and then drill a new one for these front bolts. It's not a big deal, but just a little kink, a little, a little mess up. As far as the welds go... This is what we got. So you can see right there, right there, and then down and underneath. <clears throat> and then I took a plate for extra support and welded a plate on there. Like that. And then if I can zoom in on the other side, and then on both sides for the inside, I welded another plate on the top side. So this side is on the bottom, and on the inside of this frame rail, it's on the top. So just to add a little extra support <clears throat> for the weld, um, today the bed's probably going to come off and I'm going to POR, or at least clean these up a little bit, um, so if you don't rust out right away here, because it's bare metal. So guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. All you subscribers, all the likes, all the comments. I really do appreciate it. So got a lot of action coming for you guys in the next few episodes. Um, finally got the biggest thing out of the way. So um, next thing I'm thinking is the fuel cell and custom drive shaft and then the brake lines as well. So stay tuned. Got a lot more coming your way. If you haven't already, subscribe. 
Give me a like before you go and comment too. Thanks, guys.